So we are only one month away from the release of Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is absolutely crazy. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are in the rearview mirror. Heck, even Christmas is now in the rearview mirror. And by the way, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. But as Pokemon fans, that's not such a big deal because we've got more to look forward to in this game. And speaking of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I wanted to talk about both of these games today, and more specifically, about some possible connections that there could be between the two titles. So that's what we're going to be doing today as we look at three possible connections to Pokemon Legends Arceus in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Let's check it out. Okay, so before we get into our first point on the list, I wanted to mention that the reason why I'm talking about these three things in particular that we're going to discuss today is because they specifically caught my attention while I was playing through the Sinnoh remakes, and they're not really things that you hear talked about a whole lot when you're talking about potential things from the Sinnoh games that could be referenced in Legends Arceus. However, given their circumstances, I think there's a pretty good shot that we will see some kind of connection to these things in Legends Arceus, and at the very least, there absolutely should be a connection, and the first of these has to do with the Old Charm. The Old Charm is a key item that basically pushes the story forward in the Diamond and Pearl games. Cynthia gives it to you after you give the secret potion to the Psyduck on Route 210 that she also gave you, and she asks you if you can give that Old Charm to her grandmother in Celestic Town. Once you do this, after clearing the town of some Team Galactic grunts, Cynthia's grandmother will give you a little bit of exposition on the old charm, and she will say that it was made in Celestic Town long, long ago, as basically a way to revere the deity that created Sinnoh, and nowadays they kind of pop up and are found every now and then. So the proof is pretty much in the pudding on this one as to why there should be a connection to this in Legends Arceus, and why there very possibly could be. Because number one, it's old, it's from the past of the Sinnoh region, which is the setting of this game, and it was meant to be made to honor or depict the deity that created Sinnoh, and hello, who is that? It's Arceus, who is the star of this game. So not only is this a connection that I think needs to be made in Legends Arceus, I think it is legitimately possible that it could be made as well given the circumstance, and given that the old charm would not be old anymore in the time frame of Legends Arceus, it's possible that it might take on a bit more meaning within the story as well, especially if that deity that it depicts that created the region is in fact Arceus. It could also be referring to Dialga and Palkia as well, since they kinda did help to create Sinnoh as well, I guess. But nevertheless, regardless of who this old charm is depicting, I think it is a great opportunity to make a canonical connection between Legends Arceus and the main Sinnoh games, and since it is already perfectly set up to connect the two titles, I think it is legitimately possible that it could happen. The next thing from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and also the original Diamond and Pearl as well, that I think could legitimately connect to Legends Arceus are the ancient ruins within Amity Square in Heart Home City. Amity Square is a special park within Heart Home City that you can of course go to to walk around and play with your Pokemon. It's a pretty well-known location within the Sinnoh region. However, what's strange about this is that there's also some ancient ruins within this park that are kind of just randomly there, and other than being regarded as very old, they serve no significance within the Sinnoh games whatsoever. They even look really important too, so even back in the day before the remakes came around, it was really puzzling why these ancient ruins ultimately amounted to nothing when it looked like they were meant for much more than that. Well, while it is entirely possible that these were just supposed to be a question that was supposed to be left unanswered, now that Pokemon Legends Arceus is a thing and we are legitimately exploring the past of the Sinnoh region, these ancient ruins have got to make an appearance in the game in some way. 
In the original Diamond and Pearl, as well as the remakes, these ruins seem to be huts of some kind that people possibly actually lived in, so they're probably tied to the native ancestral people of the Sinner region in some way, and it's possible that we see these people in Legends Arceus. After the initial recording of this video, we actually got a brand new trailer for Legends Arceus that officially confirmed to us who these native looking people people actually are, and we now know that they are known as the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan, and not only are they native and tribal in nature, but they also are connected to the Wardens as well. So is it possible that they could be connected to these ancient looking huts in some way? We're just gonna have to wait and see on that one, but regardless of how they could be incorporated in the game, these ruins need to be in Legends Arceus. I think it's legitimately possible, but I'm also going to demand it because it's just too good of an opportunity, once again, to have a connection between the two games to not actually incorporate them in some way. And finally, this last one is one you've probably heard all about because it's been all over the place and even I've talked about it myself, but it is a legitimate thing that needs to be discussed when we're talking about connections from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl to Legends Arceus because it's probably the one new one that we've got in the games compared to the original Diamond and Pearl. And I would of course be talking about the brand new library book that has appeared in the Canalave library in these remakes. Obviously, the Canalave library is home to a lot of stories and myths from the past of Sinnoh, but there was one brand new one that was included in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl that was not in the original Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. This story even recognizes itself that it was newly added to the library's connection, and ultimately, because of this addition, it seems like it very, very possibly could be referring to something within Legends Arceus. In short, the story talks about how there is a person who wanted to go see a Pokemon prince, and acknowledging the bravery of this person, a Mantike, a Buizel, and a Quillfish with huge spikes accompanied this person on their journey. And eventually, this prince Pokemon caught wind of this party of people and Pokemon that were coming to see it, and so it decided to go meet the party itself at a place called the Seaside Hollow. And in a nutshell, that is the story. It's pretty brief and vague in general. However, there are still some very interesting details in this story that we can analyze that could potentially be giving us a hint about what's to come in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Like, potentially most notably that description of that quillfish with huge spikes, that seems very suspect and sounds like it could be hinting at a potential new quillfish form or evolution of some kind that's going to be in Legends. And as I mentioned, there's also a lot of other talk in this story about a Prince Pokemon and a Mantike and a Buizel, and all of this is interesting as well because it sounds very reminiscent of the Pokemon Ranger movie. I have also talked about this before, but in the Pokemon Ranger movie, Manaphy appears, who is referred to as the Prince of the Sea, and there's also a Mantike and a Buizel in that movie that feature prominently as well. So is this just a reference to Pokemon Ranger? It seems unlikely, considering that would be a random movie to newly reference in this remake that wasn't in the original, especially with Pokemon Legends Arceus right around the corner. So while sounding similar to Pokemon Ranger, I think it's entirely possible that this could be a hint about how Manaphy is going to be incorporated in Legends, and exactly how the quest or the method of obtaining it could play out. And that is what ultimately could be a reference to Pokemon Ranger, which would actually be a pretty cool way to go about that, if that is indeed the case. However, before we round this out, I also wanted to talk about that Seaside Hollow area that is mentioned in the story as well, because as far as we know, there's no location in Sinnoh that is called the Seaside Hollow. So if this is a reference to Legends Arceus, that must be a location within that game. 
And honestly, I'm pretty sure it is because I'm pretty sure we can see it on the Hisui region map. And that would be this location in the northeastern portion of the Hisui region map because it's literally a piece of land that seemingly has been hollowed out by the sea. So there's pretty much no other place in this region or in any other part of the Pokemon world that would be more fitting of the name Seaside Hollow than this place. And we can even see above this location what appears to be some small islands off in the distance as well. So could it be possible that this location is the Seaside Hollow and maybe these islands have something to do with Manaphy or where it comes from to meet this party of people within this location? That's just one idea, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on when we finally get our hands on Legends Arceus, and I think this one is definitely going to pan out to be a legitimate connection. And there you have it, everybody. Those were three possible connections between Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus. Are you hyped for Legends? Let me know down in the comments below and let me know all of your thoughts about these potential connections. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet for more new Pokemon content all the time. And with that being said, I will be back with another video very soon. Once again, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope you're looking forward to the new year as much as I am. And until that next one, as always, I love you guys very much. Thanks for watching, and I will smell you guys later.